Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Faker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about a battered fried pecan chicken. What am I talking about? See you here in a minute. Okay, we're going to start with uh, a tempura batter. Take a look at that, see what it looks like. And I'm going to mix that with cream soda. It says to make it with water, but I'm doing it with cream soda. And whisk this up a little bit. I got to be honest with you, I did this a little while ago and I had my oil way too hot. It ended up burning, so we're starting over again here. So that's why some of this stuff is already together. You say it says to use water to mix this, but I like cream soda, it gives it a little bit of a sweeter flavor. Just adds to it a little bit. To that tempura batter, I've already added some ground up pecans, about a few more here. Tried something similar to this the other day with uh, deep fried green beans and mushrooms. I used uh, the same tempura batter, but I put panko breadcrumbs with it. It came out really nice. And I've got these, I've got these pecans ground up almost as fine as those panko breadcrumbs. In fact. They are at least that fine. So I'm hoping this is going to really give it a nice flavor. Like I said, I did this a little while ago and I had my oil way too hot and I ended up burning it. So hopefully I've got it down now. I'm going to try it again. I've already boiled the chicken. Boiled it for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Made sure it was pretty well done. So we're going to get it in here and try battering it. And hopefully, we'll see what happens here when I put it in the oil. Give it a little bit of a test. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. It's about where we want it. So, let's see what happens. Just want a little bit of a bubble. Like I said, otherwise you're going to end up burnt like I did just a little while ago. You don't want your batter real thick. You want it thick enough where it stays on there, but and with this pecan, I think it's really going to add a nice flavor to it. piece in there. I don't know about you, but I love pecans. I love, I love pretty much any kind of nuts. You could easily use any type of nut on this. You could use pecans, you can use walnuts, you can use peanuts, anything. Just grind them, grind them up pretty fine. So right into your batter. Alright, we're going to let these fry for a few minutes here. Still need some recipe ideas, folks. I don't know if this lighting is any better or any worse. I'm not sure. I've got this blinds closed on this one window trying to cut the reflection. So when I put the food up there, you're not going to get the glare off of this big lamp right here. And also, you're not going to get the glare off of my head. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I don't know. Does everybody else have the same problem I do? Keep getting their hair in your eyes? Bugs me. I don't know. I don't know if everybody has that problem or not. Just saying. Actually, just wishing. Oh, yeah. Just a nice little golden brown. Actually, should have had more, more oil in here. I guess ideally you'd want enough to cover it up, cover up the whole pieces of chicken while you're doing it. While we're doing that, we have a little, little container here. Uh, 
watched my videos before, you know I love Marie's Creamy Ranch dressing. bowl of this. I love this stuff. I use this on all my snacks. Alright, now we're popping. He is, like I said, not to have it too hot though because you'll end up burning this thing in a heartbeat. I ruined three really nice chicken wings just a little while ago doing that same thing. Now like I was saying you actually you actually need more oil than that. You need it probably two or three inches deep to actually deep fry it. I'm getting part of a little ends of the wings here aren't getting done. I should say aren't getting golden crisp. The chicken's already done. I, like I say, I parboiled it for about 15-20 minutes to make sure the chicken was actually done. Pull it down here and get some of that whatever way to do it without having enough batter excuse me without having enough oil well this is this is looking good there with the golden brown I'll tell you what I think we're pretty pretty close to having it here once again all it is is tempura batter and I, I mix mine with cream soda to make it a little bit sweeter and ground up pecans Love, I love the pecan. That, that should really give it some flavor. Tell you what, we're going to go with what we got here. This is just about perfect. But be careful with this stuff, man. This stuff is burning like crazy, popping on it. I just did the wings on it because that happens to be what I have in, in the freezer. You can use anything. Actually, you can use any kind of meat. It doesn't even have to be chicken. Oh yeah, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good, folks. Put our little ranch dip on there. Tell me what you think. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. So that's a little tempura batter pecan crusted fried chicken. How's that? Now you can tell your friends they say they bon top roulette. Let the good times roll. I'm getting ready to eat me some fried chicken. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>